Hey everyone, Humsy Plays here, and I got the summaries for the first two episodes of the new Pokemon series. So yeah, it seems like the new series is just going to be called Pokemon 2019 or Pocket Monsters 2019. And this is kind of weird because usually the title of the series is based on the games. So like the Sun and Moon series, X and Y series, Diamond and Pearl, Black and White. So this one should have been called Sword and Shield series, but it's called Pocket Monsters or Pokemon 2019. So it's going to be a little bit confusing for some people. Yeah, let's get into the summary. So the title for episode 1 is Pikachu is Born. This must-see first episode not only depicts Ash, Go, and Pichu, who hadn't become a Pikachu yet at the time, as children, but also shows us a scene from the first episode of the first Pocket Monsters anime series, where the now 10-year-old Ash meets Pikachu from Pikachu's point of view. The title and summary for the next episode is On Lugia They Go, Ash and Go. Ash gets invited by Professor Oak to attend the opening ceremony, of the Sakuragi Laboratories in Vermilion City, but during the ceremony he senses the appearance of a gigantic Pokemon and goes to the port, where he sees Lugia appear before another Pokemon trainer that got there before him. A new adventure now begins for these two. Okay, so starting with episode 1, we learn from this summary that Ash, Go, and Pichu are all going to be shown as children, so before we didn't know that Ash and Go were going to be shown as children, but it seems like in this episode we're going to be like looking at the backstory of Ash and Go as well, so that's pretty cool. But I do think that it's going to mainly focus on the backstory of Pikachu. From the trailer we know that this is going to be from Pikachu's point of view, so I'm sure that we'll find out why Pikachu didn't really like Ash at the beginning. So it seems like we're going to see Ash as a child too, and we've only gotten Ash as a child in like a few flashbacks, like in most recent memory I remember in uh, X and Y, we've seen Ash as a child like twice when uh, he lost to Wolfric. He uh, had this flashback to when he was huddled up with the Kanto Pokemon, and also when he met up with Serena, uh, he had that flashback to the summer camp. So the second episode here, we learn that Ash is going to go to Vermilion City because the Sakuragi lab has opened up and it's a new lab, so I guess it wasn't there before. So what's most interesting here is that Ash senses the appearance of a gigantic Pokemon and goes to the port, so that Pokemon is probably Lugia. And I wonder how he's going to sense the Pokemon, if he just like sees Lugia there or if maybe Pikachu senses that Lugia is there and then... Pikachu tells Ash to go to the port. But yeah, when they say Ash senses a Pokemon, I don't think that they mean that he just has this natural instinct that there is a Pokemon at the port. I think it'll be more uh, like uh, he just sees Lugia or Pikachu tells him. So it seems like Go sees Lugia before his journey. So just like how Ash saw ho -Oh, Go sees Lugia. So that's a pretty cool uh, parallel. But yeah, hopefully Ash recognizes Lugia and that will show us that Ash has... Uh, retain the memories from his past experiences because if he sees Lugia and he's like what's that Pokemon then that means that Ash has uh, probably uh, regressed a little bit or maybe that this is a soft reboot but I think Ash will recognize that that Pokemon is Lugia but I don't think that that Lugia will be like a Lugia he's seen before like uh, some people are speculating that might be a Lugia from the Johto series but I think that they wouldn't use the same Lugia. It's probably a different Lugia. So we also got this scan here and we can see some images from the next two episodes. And on the upper left we can see Go and Ash shaking hands. And this is probably when they introduce themselves to each other. And Go probably says I accept you as my friend. And uh, then they decide to shake hands. And then to the right of that we see Professor Oak and Professor Sakuragi. Probably this will take place in episode 2. And to the bottom of that we see Lugia here and we can see Lugia flying beside two rapid ashes. And then we get some images of Ash and Go here with his Rotom phone. And then to the bottom of that we have Ash here with the Kanto Pokemon like we saw in the trailer. We have Go here right in front of a picture of Mew. We have Pikachu looking at Ash for the first time. We have Pichu here looking off into the distance. Then we have Pikachu here grumpy and not liking that he's being held by Ash. Then to the upper right we get some more interesting pictures here. We can see a Snorlax here. I wonder if this is Ash's Snorlax. Uh, someone's jumping on Snorlax's belly. So yeah, it looks like there's another summer camp and that's how Go is sort of introduced to Mew. And here it says that they're six years old. And here, I think this picture is Ash when he is younger. And he's looking at this poster and he's telling his mom that he wants to go to the summer camp. But yeah, it looks like that Professor Oak has a summer camp here. 
And I'm just like with Serena and Ash when they first met at Professor Oak's summer camp. Maybe Go saw Mew at Professor Oak's summer camp. It would be cool if we got a cameo from like Gary or Serena from this summer camp, but I think that that's sort of unlikely. But yeah, these next two episodes will air on November 17th. Uh, next week we're going to be getting a clip show with some scenes of episode 1. And um, I am really interested to see what direction they go with the series and what's their goal going to be for the series. Because so far, like, there's no gym challenge, no island challenge, so it's like, what are Ash and Go going to be doing on their travels? Well, I guess they will be helping Professor Sakuragi. I have a feeling that this series is going to be different from every other series of Pokemon that we've seen before. Let me know what you think in the comments below, so remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.